Today we are going to do a camp oven pork roast with herb and apple stuffing and some vegetables of our choice, your standard potatoes and carrots. We have a two kilogram pork loin with the skin on so that we are hoping that it crackles up nicely. That'll... Before you mix the stuffing, it's important to take the pork out of the packaging that it came in, if it did come from a supermarket, and just pat the moisture down there and that's going to help dry it out a little bit and give it a better chance of making some good crack. For the stuffing, it is two cups of breadcrumbs, one tablespoon of mixed herbs, one tablespoon of sultanas, some salt, some pepper, that's one diced green apple, we'll put that in with the stuffing mix. Now for the finely diced onion, into the mix. I've dry mixed all of the ingredients for the stuffing and now just a little bit of water is required to help it stick together. It's time to now prepare the meat. Once you've cut your, your piece of meat so that it lays flat like this, it's time to score the skin. Now I've done most of the scoring, but it's just a, a small amount left to go. And uh, we do that. Once you finish scoring the pork on the other side, uh, flip it back over, meat side up, and it's time to start adding the stuffing. So you're gonna have plenty of this stuff ready, uh, left over. So you might be able to put that in a foil pack and have that on the side. With the stuffing laid out, it's now time to roll it up. I'll do that, tie it, and I'll show you the finished product. All stuffed and rolled, and now we've tied it, three bits of string if you're good at it. Now it's time to oil the meat. Do it on something that uh, will catch some of the runoff oil. Now for the salt, this is the thing that will help bubble it up nicely. It's really important to get it into the score lines. I'll just spread a little bit on here and then I'll rub it deeply into each of these score lines there. Really important. With the meat all stuffed, oiled and salted, it's ready to put it into the camp oven and about to get the cooking underway. It's looking really nice, nicely stuffed. And we'll pop it in onto a trivet in the camp oven and about halfway through the meat process we'll put in some veg around it. So with the camp oven, it's very important with pork. Um, a little bit of heat on the bottom, most of the heat goes on the lid. So, yeah. Right, we're away. We'll come back and check that out in about 30 minutes. After a couple of minutes under heat there, you'll start to hear the pork sizzling and, and crackling inside. This is the time when you want to let a bit of steam out for the next 30 minutes to allow the crackle to really crackle up nicely. I use a tent peg for that. I just pop a tent peg between the lid and the camp oven body and I'll just leave it that way for about 30 minutes. With the leftover stuffing that we had, we'll put that on a bit of foil, uh, the dull side facing up, spray a bit of canola oil or some non-stick on the oil on the foil, and put the rest of your stuffing on there, wrap it up so that the shiny sides to the outside, and we can either put that in the camp oven with the veggies or it can go on a little side pile of coals to go by itself. There'll be no waste here. So I'll get the veggies ready now. Uh, I've got a few carrots and some potatoes. So you just uh, tail and top the carrots and then I'll cut them into about four pieces each. 
Similarly with the potatoes, I'll leave a large chunks of potatoes and then I'll put them in a bag with some olive oil and some salt, roll them around and to get them coated, let them drain a bit and then we'll put them in the camp oven uh, towards the end of the process. And now one to two tablespoons of olive oil with some salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to put that all in there, roll it around heavily to get them all nicely coated up before putting them in the oven. The meat's been on for one hour now and it's time to add the vegetables for the remainder of the heat. Let's have a look and see how this is. I can tell you I can smell it and it smells fantastic. It looks pretty good. Wow. Time to add the veg around the uh, base of the pork. As easy as that. Okay, just going to refresh the coals on the top for the last hour that we're on there. It's been on for two hours now and I think it's ready. Let's have a look at the grand reveal. Oh yes, that's looking pretty nice. Bring that camera in tight. Roast pork wow. stuffed with herb and apple and onion stuffing, roast potatoes and carrots. So here it is after two hours and 15 minutes. It was a two kilo roast. It looks quite nice. That uh, sounds a bit crackly on the top. And here is our roast potatoes and carrots. It looks like it's going to be great. Bon appetit. Bon appetit.